after seeing so many new users having a bit of difficulty with the FMC I thought I would show you my quick and easy way to get the airplane ready to go loading the flight plan and getting the FMC prepped and getting the airplane ready to taxi uh, it's nothing to do with real world procedures this is simply my fast method of getting things going and getting into the air obviously the first thing to do is set up this page choose your airplane choose your weather I keep mine clear because I use real world weather later on current location doesn't make any difference because when you create the flight plan it's going to move you to wherever you want to go time and day obviously and then we go to the flight planner we are going to create just a simple flight plan departure is going to be Palm Beach we are going down to one of the gates. We'll pick B6, which is a medium-sized gate. And destination will be Atlanta. And we are going VOR to VOR. And the reason I do that is because with the high and low altitude options, you end up with a lot of wasted waypoints. It loads reporting points, intersections, and all kinds of things you really don't need unless you want to mess with it. So VOR to VOR gives you a nice simple route. And if you look over here, you'll see it has the PBI and the ATL VORs, neither of which you need. So we delete them. We go down here and notice the altitude is way too low. So because of the route of flight we'll be going to 32,000 feet and then we click OK save it we already have this numerous times in here so this is just going to be a new flight plan for this video so we'll just throw a two on there and we want to move our aircraft to the departure airport and click the fly now and we will see you in the airplane and here we are in the 2d cockpit of the 757 to save time I always come in with everything lit up the engines running um, like I said earlier I'm not much interested in real world procedures because I fly in the real world and I come in here just to have fun so in order to expedite things as I said everything is lit up and ready to go uh, now all we have to do is do a little programming and to do that we light up the EFIS we light up the FMC and I'm going to expand this so that down the road it's easier to see first thing I do is set this to 20 set this to plan the reason for that will become obvious when we get there now we go to index load ATC route You'll see PBI and ATL up there. Activate, execute. And your route is now loaded. Set up your reserves. Double check your altitude that matches what you set on your MCP and in the flight plan. Take off. There's your V speeds. Go to departure. We're going to take 28 right for departure not going to use SIDS execute and your route just popped up on your navigation display now to check the route there's your legs if you want to look at them on the ND step through them and you'll see all three of them in sequence now we go back to takeoff you'll see pre-flight complete if you don't see pre-flight complete and you don't see these three speed bugs down here set for your V speeds then you've skipped something and you'll need to go back through it to find out what it is we go to the progress page and there's all your mileage now we're going to set up the departure of the arrival which I normally don't do at this point but just because of this video we're going to set it up now and I don't have the real world weather turned on yet, so we have no idea what the winds in Atlanta are. So for now, we're just going to pick one of the westerly runways. And you'll see you have your transitions. We are not going to use the stars. 
simply the transitions pick the first one and obviously I pushed the wrong button let's try that again Silva selected execute now the reason we have this over here on the ND opened up and set the 20 mile range is going about to become obvious we go to the legs page we have a discontinuity we take Silva put it in the scratch pad click next to the discontinuity no more discontinuity click execute now you have a complete flight plan in there you also still have the step option so to make sure that the transition works for that approach scroll to it and you'll see that it picks you right at Silva and right directly inbound on the approach now if you had a dog leg in there you didn't want to use it's very simple if you want to get rid of Silva for instance click on the one below it ROM in the scratch pad click next to Silva execute step back through it and you'll see that Silva is gone that's all there is to programming the flight plan everything's good to go and now you can set up the cockpit any way you want it once that's all done and you're happy with your flight plan set this back to map view you can set your range wherever you want it for your initial climb out here's your top of climb I always set my heading to the initial course as well and then adjust it for whatever intercept angle I need to pick up the course line now you can close these windows or move them wherever you want finish setting up your cockpit and you're ready to go push back